Uh, SPY up 0.11 today. This, uh, these are really in an area of consolidation, it seems. I mean, we're still in this uptrending channel, but uh, not much volatility in the market. And, um, but we are, you know, approaching the all-time highs. Uh, 292, 294. So, you know, we're only 60, we're only... Uh, six points off the all-time high 60 points so um, you know there's bound to be this is bound to be an area of, of resistance and consolidation in here which is it, it's doing now but it remains in the strong uptrending channel so you know I'm still very bullish on the market NDX flat on the day it's in the same thing it is making higher lows Higher highs, slowly uptrending here. Big uptrending channel. Looks very good. Uh, the Dow is up 0.14%. Uh, big wave one, two consolidation. Broke out of the wedge to the upside. Popped through resistance. Came back testing support. Uh, I think this is going to continue to trade higher here. The Tranny's up 0.78%. One, two, three. This is this is the start of wave three. It needs to get out through this level here, 10,800. 10, if it does, look for wave three to take us back to the all-time highs. One, two, three. This is a three-wave corrective. Uh, their main ETFs. Uh, financials up 1.1% here this morning. It is at resistance here. But this if this is a wave one and this is two consolidation. Look for wave three to take us back up to 80 and 82 dollars. Strong chart, V bottom right hand extension. Look for it to pop off of that. Uh, SMH up 0.4 percent today. Really, it's just consolidating right at the all-time highs. I mean, this is so strong. These markets. Um, like I said back in January, this is an opportunity of a lifetime for for traders and for market uh, for uh, investors. It's just the start of the next leg of the secular bull market, and we called it in January. Uh, the LABU down 4.4 percent, a bit of a reversal day today, but still in an uptrending channel. The IWM up 0.13 percent, continues to rise in this channel. Made this three wave corrective one, two, three. So wave one, three wave corrective two. Now the start of wave three. It has broken through this uh, declining tops line and tested it now seems to be working its way higher there's going to be some resistance in here for it um, in this area as well but if it gets through that but if this is wave one three wave corrective two now the start of wave three this will take us back up to 170. Uh, oil off 14 cents today but still remains in the strong uptrending channel. If markets continue higher, oil commodities should continue to go, except gold, down 3.71% today. On the FANG stocks, uh, Apple off 20 cents. Um, st in this rising channel, looks good. It has broken through this long-term uh, rising top, uh, was the bottoms line, so which would become resistance, but it has broken through that. Uh, 210 is the next stop for Apple. Uh, let's see, Amazon off 81 cents today, Facebook up 15 cents, Google up 460, Netflix up a dollar 70, Microsoft up 13 cents. I think this is yeah, this has made a normal new high. Uh, high to 120.82 and this traded to 120.85 so nominal new high for uh, 
Microsoft today. Strong uptrending channel. This is not looking like a market that wants to go down. Intel up 25 cents. Also approaching the all-time highs. NVIDIA up three cents, pretty quiet there. Intuitive Surgical down five dollars and sixty cents today. But that's you know, I mean it broke out, just now had a reversal coming back, testing support. It is on the support line here. I mean it is maybe uh, a rising wedge which is not necessarily bullish but um, if this is the channel here then this is going to 625 it's breaking out on our indicators uh, 65 64 and a half percent of the stocks are above their 40-day moving average and the VIX at 13, the McClellan Oscillator at 46. So still very neutral market, lots of strength left in this. This thing can continue to trade higher. It is in an area of, uh, you know, I mean, it is consolidating in here, and that's what this is saying. Pot stocks uh, were, were a little bit stronger yesterday, but they've sold off quite sharply today. Well, not sharply. Dollar sixty three for Telray down a dollar thirty nine for CGC off fifty six on the Cron ACB down twenty APHA down twenty and the PYX down forty seven so the, the the shine has gone off the pod stocks they're just drifting lower expect that to continue for a while ATI this morning I, these are the stocks from, that were on my watch list. Uh, just one moment. 